Welcome back learners! I really hope that you enjoyed our previous lesson video all about the origins of the Vikings. And hopefully you saw some of the rune stones that are giving you secret clues so you can come up with your secret message. Now, see if you can look for them in today's lesson video as well. In this lesson video, we are learning all about the famous leaders of the Vikings. So, these are some of the great Viking leaders. What do they look like to you? Do they seem like scary rulers? Or do they look kind and gentle? Would you follow these men across the seas? And where are the ladies at? Here is your first rune symbol. There are two more to look for in this video. There was Eric the Red, who founded Greenland's first Norse settlement. Erik the Red's real name was Erik Thorvaldsen from Norway. He was given his nickname because he had red hair, but also because he would get quite angry and go red in the face. Erik's father was not a good person and he was sent away from Norway for killing someone. Erik could no longer stay in Norway either, so he took himself and his family to Iceland. In Iceland, he was accused of killing someone himself, so he could no longer stay there. So, he set west and found himself on an uncharted island, which he called Greenland. Eric the Red thought that he could convince people to move from Iceland with him to Greenland. So, they took 25 ships full of people, but only 14 ships survived the trip. In the year 928, there were 5,000 residents living in Greenland. When Eric the Red passed away, people continued to live in Greenland, but in the 14th and 15th century, they stopped living there. It's still a mystery as to where all those people went. And you may have heard of Leif Erikson. He got to the New World 500 years before Christopher Columbus did. Leif Erikson is a very famous name. He is thought to be the first European person to arrive in North America. It is said that he arrived nearly 500 years before Christopher Columbus. He was most likely born in Iceland around the year 970. Then he moved to Greenland with his father, Erik the Red. Remember him? In the year 1000, Leif Erikson set off on a mission to find land that he had heard about. Historians think that Leif Erikson and his people landed in an area that we now call Newfoundland. The Norse settlement didn't last for very long, but in the 1960s, people found a Norse settlement that had artifacts that date back to the year 1000. And remember, Knut the Great, England's first Viking king. Knut came into power over England in the year 1016 after defeating the already king in battle. With Knut being in charge, England became a much more stable place to be in. There had been many battles and raids before his rule. Denmark, Norway and parts of Sweden came under Knut's rule also meaning that he had a great empire. The rule over Denmark ended in the year 1042. Rollo. No, not the chocolate, although that'd be quite tasty right now. No, he was the first Viking ruler of Normandy in France. He either came from the area that is now known as Denmark or Norway and left there to go to France. He didn't go there for a nice reason. He went to raid and take over the land as his own. In the year 911, that's a long time ago, a king called Charles the Simple gave Rollo an area of France called Normandy. This was a very smart move by Charles the Simple because Rollo and his men were now able to protect France from any future Viking raids. So those are four very interesting and very different Viking rulers. 
I want you to turn to the person next to you and see if you can tell them five facts that you have just learned about the Viking rulers. Speaking of great Viking leaders, I want you to get up on your feet and we're going to do our best Viking leader pose. Now, you're a leader, so you need to be strong, confident. Maybe you're wearing a helmet. Maybe you're wearing a nice big cloak. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three, pose. Very nice. Okay, activity time. Now that you have done your poses as a great Viking leader, you are now going to be drawing yourself as a great Viking leader. I would love to see some of the female Viking leaders that could have been there. Now, you're going to be sketching yourself. You need to think about if you were a Viking leader, what type of facial expressions would you have? What would you be wearing on your head? What kind of clothing would you be wearing? And remember, Vikings didn't actually wear horns on their helmets. That was just Hollywood putting it in the movies. I hope you had a wonderful time today where you learned lots about the great Viking rulers. Have fun drawing your sketches of yourselves as the Viking rulers. And I will see you next time when we're learning all about the Vikings' gods and goddesses. How interesting. See you there. Did you spot all of the rune symbols in this video? There are three to find. While watching my Viking videos, make sure you write down the rune symbols to discover the secret message. Good luck fellow Vikings! <laughs>